Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Educational AD Podcast and Small School AD. This is our weekly series featuring athletic directors from smaller schools. Our definition of a small school is 300 students or so uh, or less in the uh, high school, upper four grades. Uh, before we meet today's Small School AD, as always, we want to give a shout out to our sponsors. Now, don't hit that fast forward button. These are all companies that I used as an athletic director, and I highly recommend that you use them too. So take three minutes, listen to our shout outs, then listen to our small school AD guest, and then go visit these sponsors. I'm telling you, you're going to be glad you did. Here we go. We want to say thanks to Vital Signs Wall of Fame. If you're looking for a really cool way to display your school record boards or your school's Hall of Fame, Go to their website and take a look at their interactive touch screen. That's right, touch screen video consoles. It's also a great way to showcase your school's unique history and your proudest moments. Go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. That's it, vitalsignswalloffame.com. We also want to say thanks to Snap Raise. If you spent weeks and weeks on a fundraiser and been frustrated with little, if any, return on investment, stop right here. Go to snapraise.com. Hands down, the best online fundraiser out there. We used it at our school. Tremendous success. And you will too. Go to snapraise.com. See all their great platforms and see what SnapRaise can do for you and your school. We also want to thank Sideline Interactive, indoor score tables and video boards. Go to sidelineinteractive.com and schedule a live web demo to see their score tables and their score boards in action. Probably one of the best purchases I ever made was our Sideline Interactive indoor score table. Go to sidelineinteractive.com. Schedule that live demonstration today. We also want to thank our good friends at Ohio University and their online master's in athletic administration. This affordable 20-month totally online program not only allows you to earn your master's degree, but you'll also earn 11 NIAAA leadership training courses to go towards your CAA. To get started, all you have to do is go to ohio.edu slash info slash MAA, the Ohio University Online Master's in Athletic Administration. We want to thank our good friends at Home Campus. Home Campus is a platform that you're going to use every single day for things like scheduling, uploading scores, rosters, communicating with everybody in your program across the school, across the state. How about student athlete eligibility and clearance? Who doesn't do that every day? Home Campus is going to do all these things and more. It's going to do them better and it's going to do it faster. Go to homecampus.com to get started. That's it, homecampus.com. We also want to say thanks to Gipper. Social media is where it's at today. Your kids are there, even your parents are there. And if you're not creating content, you're really missing out. Go to Gipper.com. They're going to have you creating world-class marketing content in seconds. And it's so easy, even I can do it. Go to Gipper.com to get started. We also want to thank Hometown Ticketing, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. I don't think I need to say anything more. Go to HometownTicketing.com. It's digital ticketing that offers more. We want to thank our good friends at Athletic Surveys. Our school, we use surveys for everything. Kids, parents, coaches, you name it. And the information that came back was extremely valuable because it surveyed everyone, uh, not just the people that we were already hearing from, the complainers and gripers, but the 98% that support our program. And that data, that information is incredibly valuable, especially when you're talking to a frustrated parent or maybe your principal or even your school board. Go to athleticsurveys.com. They're going to create a custom survey that lets you take the pulse of everybody in your program. Athleticsurveys.com. And we want to say thanks to Huddle. As a football coach, I used Huddle for years. As an athletic director, we were a Huddle school. And all of our coaches loved the tools that Huddle provided that let them coach our kids up to their highest level. Go to Huddle.com. Join the 8 million users. Turn your school into a Huddle school. 
Hey, welcome back, everybody, to another segment of Small School Athletic Director on the Educational AD Podcast. We're going to Ohio today, and we're going to be visiting with Chloe Thompson. Chloe, like a lot of small school ADs, wears a lot of hats. She's the Director of Athletics and Transportation for the Bradford Village School District. That's in Bradford, Ohio. Um, we connected through a uh, mutual podcast friend and excited to hear what she has to share. But Chloe Thompson, welcome to Small School AD. Thank you, Jake. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so my story kind of began actually when I was in high school. Um, I went to a school very, very close to where I work now, um, about five minutes down the road. That's Covington High School. And I was lucky enough to work with our athletic director. His name was Roger Kraft, um, who is still super involved over there. Um, he's since retired, but he is the commissioner for the conference that they are in now. So he's still very involved in the job. But I worked for Mr. Kraft for three years throughout high school. So um, when I went off to college, I initially went thinking I wanted to be a high school English teacher. That didn't work out, obviously. And I was like, you know, I've worked for Mr. Kraft for three years. I kind of liked all that stuff. Now, and back then that was like carbon copy contracts and things like that. You know, there was no Arbiter or Dragonfly or, you know, half the stuff that we do online now. But it really piqued my interest. So I ended up switching majors to um, sports management. And um, it kind of went from there. I did work a couple years out of college my first few years professionally I coached at the collegiate level and then I had an opportunity come up at a school um, probably 25 minutes from where I am now that was still in my conference when I was in high school so I was familiar with them um, an opportunity came up there so I took that job for a year before I moved over here to Bradford where I am now and this yeah. will be I'm finishing up year five at Bradford so yeah, uh, again, I, I saw your resume and you got a ton of experience, uh, I mean, right out of the chute, as you explained. Uh, for our listeners, kind of set um, the, what is the setting at your school right now at Bradford? Uh, you know, how many students, you know, what kind of community? And then I'm excited to hear your uh, small school AD tip today. Okay, so we are a very small school. Um, we are actually the first or second smallest school in the state of Ohio that still fields a football team. Um, we graduate anywhere between 36 to 45-ish kids a year. Our enrollment numbers are growing, which is super exciting, um, but we are very small. We are the smallest division in Ohio. We do divisions, like so most sports right now, they just change this or one through seven. Um, so we are seven in everything, the smallest. Um, but yeah, we are a K through 12 building. So I see every kid every day. Um, it's in the school itself is just a big square. Everything just kind of finds itself. So um, we are a very close knit community, very tight school. Um, everybody knows everybody, which is good and bad. Um, but yeah, it's it's a community that um, 100% 100 supports everything that we all do. Yeah, it just uh, makes me think of my early career stops at some small schools uh, in the state of Oregon. I love it. Well, I, I think listeners have figured out this segment uh, after a few weeks. Um, you know, small school athletic directors, you know, wear a lot of hats. And as we said, yeah. your title says it all, Director of Athletics and Transportation. What are some things that you have found to be successful for you to, you know, not just survive as a small school AD, but to thrive and, mm -hmm. you know, really do the best job for your kids, coaches, and community? Um, something that it seems very boring and very simple, but helps me stay on track best is making lists. Um, when I first started my career, um, the Ohio High School Athletic Association, they give out, you know, monthly checklists and that sort of thing. So I went by that a lot when I was younger in my career to make sure I wasn't missing steps on their end. Cause obviously that's a big no, no. Um, and then, you know, now year six in the position heading into year seven, I kind of have my, you know, I need to do this in August, this in September, this in October. And every single day I try to come in and I make a list. Like I literally have my list for today right here of things I need to accomplish um, on June 4th when I don't have any students here, but I mean, I still have a full list of things to do today. Um, 
And it also makes me feel good to cross them off. It's done, check that box. And I know I don't have to worry about it again for a while. So making lists, um, and I do try to color coordinate things. Like I have, like right now I'm using pink sticky notes for bus stuff and blue stuff for athletics. So I do tend to um, do a lot more um, transportation stuff in the summertime as like a prep because you, as you know, all year long, you're preparing for the following year athletically. Um, transportation, you can't do that so much. You can't work ahead as far. So a lot of my summer stuff is picking up the pieces of athletics and really getting into preparing for the next year in transportation. So. Now, um, any, any school that does transportation, whether it's, you know, a hundred students or, you know, a thousand students or more, uh, it's not just athletics. And so you're responsible for transportation for, you know, field trips and, you know, end of the day, yep. um, you know, do you do anything, let's say, in addition to help keep track of all the different uh, constituents that you're serving yeah. as a director of transportation and, oh, by the way, the athletic director? Um, so I have a lot of spreadsheets. Um, my Google Drive is so absolutely full of stuff. It's crazy. Um, so obviously I do the daily bus route stuff. What what helps me a lot is a we're small, so I only have two actual bus routes, um, and my drivers are phenomenal. So they are super good at making sure they check calendars because not only do we transport like our students here, but we have a vocational school, um, like a tech school that we send kids to, and then we obviously have special ed transportation too. So. And I have another driver that drives the van full time for special ed transportation. So all three of them are just fantastic. Um, hiring the right people will make your job so much easier. Um, I have a lot less to worry about because I know those three drivers and all of my coaches that I've hired are doing things the right way. And they're if they have questions, they're asking. So they... Um, it's not me. It's, it's all them, you know, they're doing a great job, which makes it easier for me to do things. Oh yeah, absolutely. Boy, um, we're going to have to get you on, uh, later this fall for a full, uh, interview episode. I'd love to hear some more of your ideas. If one of our listeners who, um, is paying attention right now, if they wanted to reach <laughs> out and find out more about your organizational system, you know, your list, your color coding, or just maybe add you as um, somebody in their network. What's the best way that they can get a hold of you? Um, I am always checking my email, my school email. Um, that is the easiest way to get a hold of me. And it's super simple. So if you want to um, send me an email anytime, I will respond most, unless I'm like, you know, on a beach somewhere, which isn't happening this year, um, I'll get back to you within about 24 hours. Well, uh, we'll go and put that in the show notes, but go ahead and tell our listeners right now, you know, what is that email? Yeah, um, it's the letter C, and then Thompson. So C T H O M P S O N at bradford.k12.oh.us. Okay. So it's kind of yeah. long, but it's easy when you think about it. No, absolutely. And for our NIAAA members, it's also on uh, Chloe's yep. um, uh, information on the NIAAA membership portal. So, mm -hmm. Chloe Thompson, thanks so much for sharing with our uh, listeners today. All the best as you uh, get into the summer months. And uh, we are definitely going to bring you back this fall on uh, the podcast for a full interview. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Jake. Hey, for listeners, we want to say thanks to you and just remind you that we upload all the Zoom recordings to the Educational Lady Podcast YouTube channel. We do this every single week and just about every day with best practices and interviews on the Educational Lady Podcast. We'll see you next time. Before we go, we do want to thank all of our sponsors because they make this happen. We want to say thanks to Gipper. I want to thank Huddle and Hometown Ticketing. I want to th say thank you to Sideline Interactive and Home Campus. We want to thank Snap Rays, Vital Signs Wall of Fame, Athletic Surveys, and the Ohio University Master's Program. Thanks again for listening. We'll see you next time on Small School AD on the Educational AD Podcast.